the ultimate daily driver, Fedora versus Linux Mint. Are you stuck with an OS that slows you down? Today we put two of the most popular Linux choices, Fedora and Linux Mint, head-to-head -to, -head to find the ultimate daily driver. Which one is faster, friendlier, and more future-proof for your everyday needs? Let's find out. Quick preview. Fedora brings a bleeding-edge, developer-focused experience with a predictable six-month release cadence, while Linux Mint focuses on polish, stability, and a familiar desktop for everyday users. This video breaks down installation, performance, package ecosystems, gaming and multimedia, community, security, and who should pick which. Let's start at the beginning. Installation and first impressions. Installation and first impressions. Fedora. The installer is modern and straightforward. The workstation spin ships GNOME by default and gives a very up-to-date GNOME experience out of the box. Fedora expects users to be comfortable with some upstream defaults, so expect a near-stock GNOME look and workflow. Linux Mint. Mint shines with user friendliness. The installer is equally simple, and Mint's Cinnamon desktop aims for a familiar Windows like layout that many newcomers and longtime Linux users love. Mint also offers Mate and XFCE editions for lighter hardware. Hardware detection is generally good on both, but Mint emphasizes an out of the box experience with multimedia codecs and convenience tools aimed at daily users. Under the hood performance and software. Performance. On comparable hardware, both distros feel responsive. Fedora tends to ship newer kernels and newer user LAN packages that can improve responsiveness for new hardware but sometimes requires more frequent updates. Mint's base, Ubuntu LTS for the mainstream editions, and conservative approach prioritize long-term stability. Package Management and Apps Fedora uses DNF RPM as its native package system and integrates Flatpak widely for sandbox desktop apps, while Linux Mint uses apt deb and leans heavily on Flatpak for universal apps, but deliberately blocks canonical snap system by default in its configuration, preferring Flatpak and traditional deb repositories. That policy is a deliberate design choice by Mint's developers and affects how some apps, like certain upstream snaps, are delivered on Mint systems. Gaming and Multimedia If gaming or multimedia is your daily job, both distros are capable, but there are trade-offs. Fedora ships modern kernels and libraries which can help with new GPU support. While Linux Mint's LTS foundations provide stability and long-term driver support if you prefer fewer surprises. Proprietary GPU drivers, NVIDIA, typically require manual install steps on both. The community has many guides for both distros. For easy desktop codec support and out-of-the-box media playback, Mint often has the edge because of its default focus on user convenience. Community tools and Proton slash Wine support are widely available on both platforms, but you may find slightly more hand-holding and pre-configured utilities in Mint's ecosystem. Usability and customization. Fedora plus GNOME. Great if you like a modern, minimal, extension-driven workflow. Customization is possible, but often involves GNOME extensions and a learning curve. Mint plus Cinnamon. Designed to be intuitive, Panel, menu, system tray, and settings are immediately discoverable. Cinnamon's applets and desklets make it easy to tweak the desktop without diving into extensions. If desktop muscle memory and quick customization matter to you, Mint will likely feel faster to personalize. Community, support, and philosophy. Both projects have active communities and solid documentation. Fedora is upstream focused. It favors upstream GNOME, early adoption of new tech, and contributions to the broader Linux ecosystem. Fedora's predictable six-month release cycle is part of that philosophy. Linux Mint centers on usability, careful modifications, and longer-term support for its releases, a comfort-first approach many newcomers and conservative users prefer. Stability and security slash updates. Fedora pushes newer packages and security updates more aggressively. That's good for getting fixes and features quickly, but means more frequent upgrades. 
Mint's LTS-based releases prioritize fewer disruptive changes and longer maintenance windows. Ideal for users who prefer a set-it-and-forget-it machine. One notable Fedora community discussion recently even examined big changes, like proposed removal of legacy 32-bit support, that illustrate how Fedora's direction can have larger ecosystem impacts. Something to consider if you rely on older libraries or niche apps. Who should use which? Quick recommendations. Choose Fedora if you want up-to-date software, contribute upstream, are a developer who needs modern tool chains, or you like a near-stock GNOME experience. Choose Linux Mint if you want a polished, familiar desktop, easy multimedia out of the box, and a stable LTS base that's maintenance light. Gamer. Either can work. Pick Mint for ease and stability. Choose Fedora if you want the newest kernel drivers and are happy to tinker. Beginner. Mint is usually the gentler first distro. Power user slash dev slash contributor. Fedora's faster cadence and upstream focus are attractive. Finally, conclusion. Both Fedora and Linux Mint are excellent daily drivers. They just solve different problems. Fedora leans forward into the future. Mint brings a cozy, dependable daily experience. If you want help picking the exact edition or need a step-by-step -step install walkthrough for your hardware, Drop your spec in the comments and I'll recommend the best build. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.